number one adventurer, K-7, former United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you a story of today. Here is K-7. Ladies and gentlemen, recently my old friend, Special Agent B-9, sent me the case history of how a master spy was brought into a country. The plot was carefully worked out, and, but for the patriotism of a naturalized citizen, it would have been successful. Had it been, military secrets of great importance would have gone to an enemy nation. As usual, John Holbrook will introduce the story. Thank you, K-7. Special Agent B-9 and his young assistant, Rita Drake, have just arrived in a famous seaport city after an ocean crossing. It's the evening of their first night ashore, and we find them dining together at the small, exclusive hotel where Rita is staying. Well, the food is delicious here, B-9. Oh, I forgot to tell you. When I registered, I found a letter from Dad waiting for me. A letter from your father? Good. Uh, yes, Rita, what is it? This note was just delivered, monsieur. The man is outside. Thank you. I wonder who it's from. I don't know. We'll soon find out. Well, this is unusual. It's from the old customs man who examined our luggage this morning. I told you he was an old friend of mine. What does he want? He's waiting in the lobby, Rita. He says that he must talk to me. That's strange. Uh, waiter. Yes, monsieur? Have the man who gave you this letter taken to my rooms and tell him that we will join him in just a few minutes. later, the old customs inspector sat opposite B-9 and Rita and told his story. When I saw you come ashore this morning, Special Agent B-9, I knew that you could help me. I'll do anything I can, Inspector Vassal. Suppose you tell us your story. I will try to make it short, but it goes back a long time. Did you know that I am a naturalized citizen? No, I, I didn't know. Of course, your name... It is... tells you the country of my birth. I came here as a young man, B-9... This is my country now. My son died for it in the Great War. He was about the age of this young girl. I'm sorry, Inspector. I tell you because I want you to know I am a patriot. I have a brother still in my old land. He is younger. And this story involves him? Yes. Last week, a man who called himself Yondon came to my home. He told me that another man, a spy named Hagland would soon come to this country. I am to help him through the customs. And if I don't, my brother in the old country is to be seized. So they want to use you. Now, what was your answer, Inspector Vassal? I did not believe such things could happen. I thought it was a bluff. I threw the man yonder out of my house. I don't blame you. It doesn't seem possible they could be so mean. Well, no country... Hey, wait, mademoiselle. Yesterday, I received this letter. It is from my brother. He needs my help. Read it. He has been seized and placed in a camp. B-9, can you help me? Yandon is coming for my answer tomorrow night. He's coming to your house again tomorrow night? Yes. And Miss Drake and I will also be there. <laughs> Rita waited at Inspector Brazil's home. 
B-9 concealed himself in a position where he could hear everything. The spy arrived about 9 o'clock. He came directly to the point. I've come for your answer. What is it going to be? I... I don't know. You heard from your brother, didn't you? Yes, yes, I had a letter from him. Then you had better make up your mind quickly. Hagrid is already on the way here. His ship ducks in three days. Unless you let him in... I let him through the customs. I, I'll do it. On one condition. What is that condition? That you furnish proof that my brother has been released and put over the border into another country before Haglund's ship docks. You think you can bargain for your brother's release? Otherwise, I will see that your spy Haglund is seized. My brother must be allowed out of his own country and into one where he will be free. He, he must also be allowed to carry his money and possessions with him. I'll take your message to our leader. That is all I can do. And tell him that I mean business. And unless my brother is freed, I will expose the spy. That is all. Good night. B-9 knew that the spy, Haglund's entrance into the country, was important to the nation employing him. Otherwise, they would not have gone to such lengths to ensure his landing. He also guessed right in assuming that a bargain could be made. For two days later, the old inspector read him a cablegram which he received. Ah, my brother is safe, B-9. This cablegram came from him in a neutral country. See, it says, everything all right. I arrived here safely this morning. All that remains now is for us to capture Haglund. First, however, I want to find out why he's here. Do you know anything about him? No, but a friend of mine, K-7, is checking on him. I may have some information before the boat docks tomorrow. I'll see you then. Good night, Inspector. That night, a new element of mystery arose. K-7 learned that a famous aviation expert, whose name was really Hagland, was supposed to be aboard the incoming ship. He was coming to purchase military planes for his government. Was he a spy in disguise, or was he the real expert? What was the answer to the riddle? If K-7 and B-9 could have known what was happening on the darkened deck of the incoming liner, some 300 miles at sea, their problem would have been answered. Two men walked the deck. One was a spy. The other, the real expert, Hagman. Pardon. You are Monsieur Haglund, the aviation expert. Yes, but how did you know that? It's my business to know. I have a gun, Haglund. Give me your passport and papers. Uh, what are you doing? Give me your passport and papers. Yes, but... Give them to me. Here, here, take them. Do not put that gun in my ribs. Now turn around. What are you going to do? From now on, I am Haglund, the aviation expert. I'm going to kill you and throw you overboard. I know, you can't. Ah! Goodbye, Haglund. You are getting off the ship here. Early the next morning, before the murder was discovered, the spy, posing under the name of the expert Hagland, landed. The old inspector saw him through the customs and learned that he was going to a great airplane plant the next day. This information he gave to B-9 a few hours later. Did you see him when he landed? Yes, and I recognized him. His every move was being watched. We've found out a great deal since the ship docked, Inspector. He's not only a spy, he's a murderer. You have found out that? We suspect it. One passenger was missing, Inspector. Unless K-7 and I are wrong, the spy killed Haglund and took his papers. Now, what did you learn? I followed your instructions. I told him that I would work with him, that I would do anything. And because I put him through the customs, he believed me. He even told me where he was going. Where is he going? To the aviation plant. He goes there tomorrow. He will study blueprints, take pictures. Tomorrow night, he comes to my house. I am to take his pictures and get them on board an outgoing ship. So that's his plan. I doubt that he will ever reach your home tomorrow night, Inspector. But he said he would come. That I was to take the plans. Yes, but tomorrow morning when he reaches the airplane factory, I'll be waiting for him. The next.
next morning, Rita and B-9 were at the airplane plant early. It was arranged for B-9 to take the place of the chief engineer for the day. Rita posed as his secretary. Together, the two made their preparations as they waited for the spy to arrive. Put the blueprints of the new planes there on the desk, Rita. There. I guess we're ready. He should be here in a minute, B-9. Yes. Uh, you'd better go outside to your desk. Remember, as soon as he arrives, show him in. After he's been with me a minute or two, then ring my telephone. I'll call you. Good luck. A few minutes later, the spy arrived and was shown in. Mr. Haglund is here. I'm glad to know you, Haglund. Uh, that will be all, Miss Drake. I see you're ready for me. Blueprints. Yes. Since your government is interested in buying our planes, I thought you would like to study their specifications before we go to the test. Yes, that is a good idea. You are thoughtful. These are very interesting. Uh, let me explain. Oh, pardon me while I answer them. Hello? I'm, I'm busy, but... Uh, yes, I'll, I'll come out for a minute. Uh, will you excuse me? I've been called out. I'll only be gone ten minutes or so. It'll give you time to go over the blueprints. Not at all, not at all. I should be most busy. These prints, they interest me. I'll uh, hurry back. Take your time. It was a trap. Once outside the office, B-9 and Rita watched cautiously over a transom. The spy worked fast. He took a small camera from under his coat and photographed one blueprint after another. B-9 and Rita watched him work. As he finished... They stepped into the office with leveled revolvers. All right, Haglund, put up your hands. What is the meaning of this? Take his camera, Rita. Give it to her, Haglund. Uh, this is an insult. I will, I will see my country's ambassador. You have no country. You're a spy. You, you cannot prove it. As chief engineer of this... I am plan, not you... chief engineer. I am Special Agent B-9. And you are the master spy, Zara Rodenwald. What are you going to do with me? I arrest you for the murder of the aviation engineer, Stefan Haglund. And I suppose you think that a court would believe that charge? I think so. We have just found a deckhand who witnessed that murder, Rodenwald. At first he was frightened, but now he's ready to talk. You're under arrest. The spy Rodenwald was convicted on the civil charge. There are many spies at work today. They seek information of mobilization plans, shipyards and aeroplane factories, coast defenses, munition centers, and details of new guns. They work against the peace of the world, and their activities must be stopped. Listen for my next story. This is K-7 speaking.